So you're thinking of starting a business. You want to become an entrepreneur. That's great, but do you have what it takes? In today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you what are four elements that you need, either all four of them or maybe just even one, in order to have success as a business woman or men. Stay tuned and watch. Alexandra Villarroel Abrego and welcome to another episode of Alexandra TV. Today's episode is about entrepreneurship. It's about starting your own business and you know asking yourself the question of do I actually have what it takes? I remember for me when I first started at 19 years old you know I was the first entrepreneur in my family. I was the first person that I even knew who had a business. I often wondered do I actually have what it takes? So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sharing with you four different things, four different elements that every entrepreneur should have, or should I say one of the four at least. If you have all four, that's great. If you have three, that's great. Two, that's great. And even with just one, you can be successful. So let me share that with you. Oh, now before we get started, what I want to do is I want to invite you to go and get your free gift. We've created a concept called the AVA Pyramid, Nine Stages of Personal and Professional Development. Now this is a concept that will help you always know where you're at on your journey so that you know also what is the next level that you should be reaching. So if right now you're someone who's start thinking of starting a business, you're going to know where you're at in your personal and professional life and what is the next step for you. So if you want to download this free gift, it's actually a poster that you can download and then you can print. Simply go in the description below this video. Also, the link will appear here on the screen. All right. So without any further ado, let's now begin with the first element, the first thing. And this one, I can tell you that I did not have this when I first started. When I first started, I was actually in the minuses when it comes to this. It's money. So obviously, when you start a business, when you become an entrepreneur, if you already have money, uh, whether it be money that you set aside in your savings, or if you have money, you go ask for a loan, or if you have, you know, your parents who give you money, it's easier. It's much, much easier when you have money when you first start because then you can go and hire the best people. You can go and, you know, do the best marketing campaigns and designs and you can, uh, you know, do a lot of ads and all of that. So it's much, much easier to get ahead. So if you have this, obviously, when you first start a business, this will help you a lot. However, this is not it. Like I said, there are three other elements. The next one is something also that unfortunately not a lot of people have when we start a business, but but it's something of course that can really help you get ahead and fast it's having the right connections so having social power basically so if you grew up in a community of like entrepreneurs if you know someone who can be your mentor and that can mentor you if you are just someone who is well surrounded even if let's say you don't have element one even if let's say you don't have any money at least by having the right connections you can go and meet someone who can become an investor for your business. So that helps when it comes to that. Then you meet someone else who's going to be your mentor and going to teach you what mistakes not to make. So that's going to save you a lot of time. So having the right connections when you first start as an entrepreneur is definitely something that can help you get ahead faster and that can, you know, help you achieve success in the business world. Now, don't get discouraged. I know these two first ones are things that not a lot of people have. I know personally when I first started, I didn't have these ones. Now, the next thing that I did have when I first started, I had a little bit of it, but I took advantage of the little that I had was time. And, and I like this one because I feel like this one is fair. We're all born with 24 hours in a day, right? And then we choose how we spend our time. Now, not everyone is born with a certain amount of money. For everyone, it's different. Not everyone is born with the right connection. So I feel like the time element is the fairest one. I remember when I first started my business at 20, I was working at a full-time job 40 hours a week. I was working at another job 20 hours a week. So I was already working 60 hours a week, but I had to cut back on my sleeping time, which is not recommended, but I had to do it. I had to cut back on my social time definitely you know going out on weekends everything that was that was out of the window I wasn't doing that anymore because I knew that I didn't have the two first elements so I needed to really take advantage of the element of time because when you have time that's when you can go and you know develop talents when you have time that's when you can go and you know do the jobs that you would hire other people to do so when I first started I was my own accountant I was my own marketing director I was my own uh, videographer the first videos Alexandra TV I was doing 
doing them. You know, my first editor, I was doing everything at the same time because I was taking advantage of the time element. And then finally, the fourth element that if you are starting in business, you would need, you know, again, you can have, if you have all four of them, amazing. Like you, you are ahead of your game and that is great. If you have three, again, that's really great. If you have two, don't get discouraged. You still can make it. And even if you have one, you still can make it because the, the last element is, is talent, basically talent, ability, skill, having a skill. Um, this is very important because even if you don't have, let's say, uh, money, even if you don't have connections, even if you don't have time, when you have a certain talent, a certain skill, then maybe people are going to notice you. And then people want to give you their time to help you, you know, get ahead. People are going to want to invest in you and your idea and your talent and that skill that you have. So having a very uh, important uh, skill or talent is something that as an entrepreneur you need if you know, you want to get ahead. At the end of the day, like I said, you can have all four of them, or even if it's just one and with just one, even if it's going to be harder, let's be honest, you still can be very, very successful and build the empire that you dream of. So there you go. That's the four elements. So which one do you have? Do you have one? Do you have two? Do you have three? Do you have all four of them? Let me know in the comment section. I would love to read from you. If you, if you're thinking to yourself, well, I have none of them. Well, you're going to have to find a way. You know, you're going to have to either, like I said, cut back on some things when it comes to time, try to, you know, gain more time. Either you're going to have to uh, develop a certain talent, develop a certain skill. Uh, either you're going to go have to, you know, go to the bank and get a loan to have the money. You're going to have to find a way if you really want to become an entrepreneur, if you really want to make it, because it's something that a lot of people want to do but it's not an easy thing to do. If it were, everyone would do it, right? So let me know in the comment section, which one of these four things do you have uh, or which one you're thinking about developing. If you like this video, don't forget to like it, to share it with all of your friends. And of course, to subscribe for two new episodes every week here on Alexandra TV. Also, don't forget to go claim your free gift, the ABA Pyramid. It's in the description below this video and the link appears on the screen now. So that is it for today and I will see you very soon.